Hi, how's everybody doing today? This is Sean. I'm going to make a video. I got a special delivery, a Steve Largent rookie card from my friend Card Dreamer. I won a contest and uh, Miss Card Dreamer dropped it off because we live by each other. It was really cool. And uh, I am going to put this to the one touch. And I wanted to, because uh, he's one of my favorite players. Not only was uh, Steve Largent, um, Back in like 1987 or 88, I think it was around there, when he was, you know, close to 100 uh, touchdowns, there was a safety, let me think of his name, this guy played for Denver, uh, Mike Harden, Mike Harden, the guy played as a safety for Denver, he took a, a, a total cheap, cheap shot on uh, Steve Largent, knocked him out, in the middle of the field, Dave Craig led him, middle of the field, this dude crosses the middle field. He's one of the most fearless receivers ever. Not a huge guy. This dude forearmed him and knocked Steve Largent out on national television. The guy got fined. But this is the best part of this. Steve Largent played those fellas again. And Dave Craig threw an interception in the end zone or around the end zone. And I do remember this because I saw it. It's one of the funniest things. And the awesome karma, instant karma. Anyway... So he intercepts the ball, Mike Harden, that knocked Steve Largent out uh, probably like a month ago or a couple months ago. They ended up playing each other, whatever the case might have been. They ended up playing each other again. And Mike Harden intercepts the ball. He's running down the field. And Steve Largent hits this guy so hard that he makes him fumble the ball. And Steve Largent recovers it. One of the most amazing plays in football. And... To this day, Steve Arden is like, uh, all the touchdowns that I got doesn't really mean anything. It's that hit I put on that asshole that tried to end my career, pretty much. Uh, with dirty, like really dirty. Look it up. His name is Mike Harden. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but look up the hit Mike Harden and then see Steve Largent hit on Mike Harden. And it's epic, man. Uh, it is brutal hit that he takes. Okay, these little sissies that play now, they would never make it back in the 80s. These people were allowed to throw forearms at you and not get kicked out of games. They would just get fined, and that would be it, and they would just go after you, and they headhunt. Uh, the Bengals have bounties on Houston Oilers players. I mean, it was crazy, you know. Uh, Lawrence Taylor was all jacked up on drugs when he played. He broke, He literally snapped Joe Theismann's leg in half. It was one of the most disgusting things besides uh, watching that kid that played for Ohio State mess his knee up. Oh, it was a while back. Say so no more, but this is the one of the toughest receivers ever to play in the NFL. My opinion. I'm very grateful for this. I was not expecting this at all. So we're gonna go ahead and I wear, I'm wearing gloves and I'm gonna show you how to uh, since I'm gonna do this and my friend gave this to me. I'm putting this in one touch because this will go in my personal collection. And uh, as I said, one of my favorite players and. We'll just take it out of you and open up very gently. And you want to wear gloves, you know, because you got acid on your fingers, you know. I'm going to take it out of this thing, right, and look at it. It's a really nice condition. Really nice condition. Very good. There's a little off stain in there, and that's typical for these 70s cars because you don't even know how thin they are. They are so much thinner than the regular cards that we have today. To have a card in gem mint like this, it would be like, dude, you would, I don't know what you would have to do. And they're also notorious for miscuts. I don't care what card. I have a whole set of these things. I know exactly what's up, you know. The 80s is really bad. That's why, uh, um, that's why Mr. Montana's card is so expensive uh, in a perfect 10. Uh, good luck. So what I do is, um, there is talk that, that may scratch your card, these one, one, one touches. So what I'll do is I'll put a penny sleeve right on top of there, right? You see what I mean? And then uh, make sure it's lined up, you know? There's the other side of it. Make sure the magnet's on there. And then I'll put it right there, right? Bang. And I do have a bag that I'll need to put it in. So that's what it's looking like in there. Really sharp, man. It's got a little glare to it. My man's got his helmet on. And if you ever get a chance to look up, I, I don't know if it's on YouTube or not. I just remember it. <laughs> Dude, it, it, it's such an epic hit that he put on that guy that I remember 30 years <laughs> thirty years later. I'm like, oh, you remember the hit that Steve Lodge put on Mike? Uh, 
Harden, oh yeah, I remember that hit, yeah, back in 18, 1988, you know, anyway, I'm having a joke with it, but I am 48, so I do remember some of these things, and when this dude gave me this car to my buddy, I was like, yo, I remember that, man, this dude, he's not people out of their cleats, literally, probably the only time he made a tackle, <laughs> but interesting fellow also, he also was a congressperson and uh, did good things, so not really sure what he's up to nowadays. I know that when he retired from football, he got into Congress. Not sure if he's still doing that in a different part of the region that I live in. So not sure what his career is doing over there. So anyway, thank you, Car Dreamer. Go check his channel out. He's a good dude. Does giveaways. You'll enjoy it. And this is really super cool of him. You know, and his wife, thank you very much, ma'am. She's a very sweet lady. Very nice people. Lucky to have that type of uh, people in your life that are good genuine people they're only out for your best interest and uh, not selfish and care about themselves you know they're selfless they're good people so I want to thank everybody for watching the video and uh, you know go check that hit out uh, I don't know if it's on YouTube but it, I hope it is it's Steve Largent versus uh, Mike Harden for Denver Broncos Dude, it's the funniest thing you'll ever see a little fellow hit. <laughs> this guy's not big at all, man. Uh, 100 touchdowns. You know what I mean? Jerry Rice broke his record. <laughs> and Jerry Rice the greatest. And if uh, Antonio Brown didn't have uh, uh, whatever concussion issues, the man's mind is not right. He'd be right in the top top of the greatest receivers of all time. I still think he's an awesome receiver. I think he's got the CTC or whatever the hell it's called. His brain is rattled out of his head because he took a vicious shot by Perfett. And uh, Perfett is notorious for doing dirty pull to people. So, yeah. The Raiders let him down. The Steelers let him down. The Patriots let him down. So, anyway, this guy's straight. He did take a bad hit, and he, he was all right afterwards. I don't know how, but he did it. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And let me know what you think about my man, Steve Largent. And check that thing out. If you can find it on YouTube, definitely go ahead and check it out. It's Steve Largent and Mike Harden. Mike Harden, uh, it was a Bronco safety, as I said. And just nasty player to begin with. Just nasty. They had no, t t t it's no rules, dude. You can do WWE stuff on people back in those days. Tom Brady would get body slammed. There would be fights. Their offensive linemen would have to fight the defensive linemen for stopping them from slamming their quarterback on the ground like their uh, macho man and Randy Savage or something. You know what I mean? Or he uh, is yes, Randy Savage. Or, uh, you know, uh, the, the big fellow, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, it's been years. Anyway, please like and subscribe and tell me what you think about Steve Largent. And uh, thanks again, Card Dreamer. Appreciate it. Go check out his channel. I appreciate everything. Thanks a lot.